Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Today is going to be a different type of video. Um, recently I posted a request in regards to who wants to see my, you know, old handheld device because back in the old days um, I used to have a really old, really, really old channel back in 2010 called Had That for GBA Temp that does not exist anymore. So with those uh, videos, I used to basically show how to mod and hack DSi handhelds. So I posted about it on this channel and you guys seem to be interested. You know, I'm just going to post that, you know, uh, what is my current setup. I will not go into much more uh, detail, but if you guys are interested, I might make my own videos. So uh, this video is going to be about my current setup for my modded DSi's and flashcards. Stay tuned. If you guys find this video or any of my other videos helpful, please click on the thumbs up down below and don't forget to click on the red subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for all future and new videos. Okay guys, so basically um, what is what DSIs do I currently have? Well I do have the, uh, the Nintendo DS Lite, this should be the other way around here. Because going from uh, old to newest, so Nintendo DS Lite, DSi, and the Nintendo 3DS with a um, Kingdom Hearts uh, cover on it. Basically, if you guys you know know what DSi's are, they're basically a handheld console with two screens that you can basically uh, play games on. Right? You flip this switch on the side, and then you have it's kind of hard to see here this model. Let me see if I can just increase the brightness here for you guys. There you go. So basically, um, this is the DS Lite. Um, you basically insert any uh, game cartridge. Um, I got a few games here. For example, here, you know, let's go ahead and put in a uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 over 2. You basically go in the back here, you put in the game. And then, this is an older model deal, so you have to actually reboot it to uh, get the actual game up and running. And then you get the actual here, there's 358 by 2. You go ahead and open up, and then you're in the game. Now, the thing is, these cartridges for games can be kind of expensive. So, what people have, you know, you know, uh, been upon, or basically what they've decided is to basically mod or, and or jailbreak, right? So, basically, that's when the easiest methods come by to jailbreak. By the way, this works across all platforms through all three of these DSs, or to the side. So you can jailbreak it by getting what's known as flashcards. So here's an example of a few of the flashcards I have. Um, for those of you guys who are familiar, um, you can basically buy any of these off eBay or Amazon or your local retailer in your city. Um, some of these you won't be able to find anymore because they're extremely old. Again, this was back in the year between 2010 and 2012 where these were popular. You basically buy any one of these cards and basically all these cards, what they have in common you have a little game cartridge like this, which is, you know, the same size as a, as a standard, you know, DS game. You take this cartridge and you plop it into the back of any DS console. And then what you can do is once you boot up the actual device, you'll be able to access this cartridge where you can load SD an SD card inside with all your game. Like this cartridge itself is just the actual hardware, but see that little slot right there, right? That's where, for example, I have a working cartridge right here. This is a, um, a Supercard DS2, the limited edition version. So what you do is you take this SD card, right? No matter, you know, 8 gigs, 16 gigs, whatever. You load the firmware onto here. You slide it in. You plug it into any uh, DS. Then you go ahead here. You push the power button. And then basically, this is like jailbreaking your DS um, all through like a hardware mod, as which quote, quote unquote call it. So, what you, for example, here you have this little icon. It looks like one game, but it's just a trick to DS of thinking it's an actual game. You actually go ahead and um, open it up. And once you load into the uh, cartridge in this case, you bet the preloaded software. Well, for example, you have like, you know, you have DS games, GBA emulators. You open up the actual GBA game, right? And you can go ahead, as you guys can see, you can have a bunch of preload NDS game 
and all-in-one cartridge and basically these are all free right so as you guys can see you have these uh, preloaded games in this in that case this is the DS emulator you go to the GBA emulator version and you sort of have the same thing this is a built-in emulator and this is all running off a single cartridge so instead of one game you can actually go ahead and load multiple games for example if I want to go ahead here and load for example Golden Sun click on it and you can now play Golden Sun directly off the cartridge right if I go ahead and press home here go back home let's close it right let's say you want to load a different game in that same cartridge in the menu what you can do is load it up and choose a different game it's as simple as that it's actually really simple so this is the simplest way of you know modding your DS is buying you know like an iPlayer buying a Cyclo DS i Evolution you know buying an R4 3DS you then you buy an SD card right and then you go ahead and load your games onto it right you plug it into your DS and you can literally start playing you know games just like that so you literally plug it in no you know extra dragging dropping of files booting up and you know how you you know, you mod the old days where you have to be really really specific this one is actually really really simple right and that's basically version a where you can actually mod right um, your DS using a cartridge which is probably the most easiest method and like I said any of these cartridges will work this is all think of it as different brands like for example the cycle DSi evolution right what it can do is it can it can use some sort of feature called DSi mode which again, I'm not gonna go into detail because it's more over you m3 i0 easy flash has a version with a little GBA slot compatible this one can run uh, 3ds games but again all of these basically have the same feature which basically you buy one right and then you also buy an SD card load the firmware on it you load your ROMs and then you will basically can have unlimited games all on a single cartridge and the second method of basically uh, playing or modding your DS is of course um, actually uploading a custom firmware which I have in my case on my um, DSi this one is loaded with Unlocked 2.0 and Twilight Menu Plus Plus 24.1.0 basically what this allows me to do is you can see there's no cartridge but I'm actually running all my games and everything else on a standard you know SD card in this case is 8 gigabytes so what I did is I follow a tutorial from gbatemp.net right to be able to take any SD card laying around and basically mod your uh, DSi or DS Lite go ahead and boot it up and this gives you the ability to be able to mod your DS handheld without going the need of buying like an M3i0 without going the need of searching eBay for an iPlayer so the bonus of this is you'll be able to go ahead and mod your DS to play multiple games without needing the need to buy a um, a custom for example in this case a uh, Supercard DS2 right because these you know might be hard to find they're probably around between 30 to 50 bucks but an 8 gigabyte micro a micro SD card or an SD card might be like under ten dollars right so the bonus is to go the flash card way I recommend is um, if you want to play your normal DS and GBA games right um, and to be honest you really want the easiest method you're not techie right you want the simplest method buy, an, buy a flash card plug it in drop in your game you're all good to go if you want the more you know customizable method to basically like in this case here when I went ahead and booted up my Nintendo DSi it went into a custom firmware this is Twilight Menu Plus Plus made by Rocket Robs right once I'm actually loaded in here right it'll go ahead and launch the custom firmware and this is again with nothing in it so I kinda cleaned up my menu here I just have the uh, ROMs folder here with the settings for the Twilight Plus Plus I load ROM for example I have my my Game Boy Classic games so I put on yellow, put on red, I have a few games in there I have my GBA games right so these are a bunch of examples from GBA games and of course your standard uh, DS games as well right so there's all your DS games and this can also emulate SNES but by the way 
emulating SNES and GBA, right, is also possible with these higher end flashcards. Um, for example, I don't think they all support it. For example, if you spend like a TTDSI, for example, right, they might not support it. But this game with the non flashcard version, you'll be able to go ahead and, you know, mod your DS, like, for example, play Donkey Kong. You click on it, right, and it's going to go ahead and load uh, Donkey Kong, right? So you literally have no need for any physical cartridges, no need for a flash card, and all you need is basically a standard SD card, right? Like this is here is Donkey Kong loading, right? Go back to the main menu here, for example, I can go ahead and load a different game, Game Boy games, like see all these emulators here. But again, this does not mean that you need to mod your DS in order to um, get all these games, right? This does not mean that the flash card does not support SNES, Game Boy Color, Nintendo DS. They actually all do, right? And if I make a future video to go in more detail, these can also play videos, this can play videos, um, lots of pros and cons, basically. Whether you want to go the flash card route or you go with the custom firmware route. I personally use both. For example, right now here on my, um, you know, on my DSi, right, I can go ahead and load a flash card with its preset up right and this is this is the modded DSi uh, on the actual hardware side it's not like for example my 3DS and my DS Lite is not modded but in this case in my DSi if I go into it here right for example, I'm going to go ahead and press select All right I'm going to go ahead here and actually launch my uh, my actual flash card so here you go. So I'm back with my flashcard, and this is the same thing you saw when I plugged it in. But of course, the bonus of a flashcard, you can literally take it and move it to another compatible DS. And play the exact same game. So if you want to, you know, uh, if you have in between DSs or you have throughout, throughout the family, that's what these D DSs can do. So think of it as a, a modded flashcard, can play all your games. And go in between devices. If you want to go, if you want to go the uh, actual software mod and put a custom firmware on this, you can do that as well, right? And that is basically it for this video, guys. I know it's kind of a different uh, method. It's a little bit going, um, you know, not to my standard viewers, but hopefully we can bring in a bunch of new viewers here. Um, if you guys like this kind of videos, leave me a thumbs up down below, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.